So got this template I use. Got the input here. This. So, which test case need A and W and the exercises? So the answer would be the size out of R, which is the base case of the B minus one. Works in the first function. Use size dot max, but um, I think that works since so it's, it's only a new, new version to Rust. And unfortunately, CodeGem has got an old version of Rust, so you just have to hide code uh, infinity value. So we'll just return this minimum. So for x and l to r, hd, that's inclusive. So yeah, from that we do this dot 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 and right so we'll add plus question mark that will be m x plus one to r plus question mark. We need to work out that sizes area. So I'll just comment this out for now. Resize. So that's going to be positive. So no, this is a resize. Okay. So to get the sizes, we need to get the multi sets. And we need to scan in the exercises. So let's um, let's see multi sets. Let's go MS. Every exercise. So this has been A by A matrix by W. So, uh, I said, but since I'm taking minimums, I tended to like you know, resize 
facts. But because I'm going to be re -re reading the bottom of the permit each time, like I'm going to be scanning these this bottom. But my foot, so then I can just read board based on those. Sorry, don't doesn't matter if it's just zero. It's tough coding when it's like there we go. Okay. So So, w. Oh, we need to specify what we want use as. So, so multi set from I to I. I guess I could call this L or I could call R. I'm just going to call it I. So this is meant to call, this is just exercise I to start with. So it's the mutable. Cool. So now let's build up the rest of the permit. So L and say I've got that minus one. L and L plus one. I don't have three. It's white type. Let's just say it's from L to R. If we type K, which is multi set L to R minus one. So we know L minus one is already defined because we set it up there for the equal. Minimum of what's already in common with the rest of the interval and with the current one, which is uh, uh. So, so this is RR is just basically this. Since when it's sitting like that. And then we're just going to need more KF value. So this should work. And now we need to set the sizes. So what do we want? So this will be an E by E matrix of sizes. So it's how many words are in the multi set from L to R. So this well, I could put this on the class so size from L to R equal to 
I'll do a set from L to R. Order in the sum. Size. Uh, let's make some little colors here. Yeah. So we're not for use or rest, especially as I'm mostly using TypeScript. Okay. Now we've got the size. So we know how many weights each interval from L to R we can find. We need to pass that into print. Also going to need a cache to do it. We'll memoize this function so that when it sees it, it's going to see the same interval many times. So if we ever see the same interval, it's like okay, we've already calculated the answer to that previously. Don't go into all those sub intervals again because that'll get really expensive. So let's call this cache. And give an optional value because we want it might not be there. Which one would this? Uh, oops. Yeah, that's cool. Just none. But now it doesn't know the type of it, but it should infer it once I pass it into now. And we need to mutate it. So, oh. so there it goes. So that was a bit a bit of uh, size. Actually, so it was the cache. Yeah, let's copy it. Oh, it was actually a borrowed, a borrowed up. We could have owned it if we wanted. We could have owned this to yeah. get rid of the record. So we could have owned this because we passing it into a question, so it's nice. Yeah, that's what I guess. So now, going back to her. So we already have this bit from the Alta function. Uh, this bit's been calculated outside before you press into the sub problem. Um, So uh, first we need to pass those arguments in. So this is going to be two times the size from L to X. So this is the left side. And then need to minus Plus the size from L to R. Let's mention the bar. And this will plus the size from X plus 1 to R. And this plus the size from L to R. And this Let's see if this one's else. Okay. Let's check this again. Oh, 
I'm going to lose my cache. This is a little bit. We need the base case of the error version as well. So I don't even need to add. Now, the reason we return zero is because we already added. If these were equal, we already added the number of weights from here that are getting added. So even though this is an empty interval, this has all the weights of exercise L. We've already included it here before we build this. And that's why we also need to make sure we included it down the bottom here. And we did. Oh, this needs to be two times. So I was lucky. I checked that. That was we didn't have to. Oh. So this looks good. Some characters. Get this compiled. Oh, I don't need the X before. It's quite a helpful error message. Yes, I did make a finish. See that? So the rest has got really good compiler messages. This needs to be some. Uh, hopefully we're finally done now. Cool. That compiles. So in the leaderboard, someone coded this up in six minutes or something. So I must have done it another way. Oh no, this is not good. Attempt to subtract with overflow. Hmm. See if I can read through. See what's the line. Well, first out, I can see I'm not sitting, I'm sitting size to zero. I'm not setting up for when L is equal to R. So hopefully this is the problem. We might have to start printing things up. Hopefully it's stuck. That's not good. Yeah, 
then plus one half to the one half f was equal to r would have r plus one which does not make sense. Yes. So that's a correct answer. So um yeah, thanks everyone for watching. And uh, I better go because it's getting late now. I didn't realize the time it's actually starting to get dark. And I haven't left work yet. So um see you all next time and yeah, good luck for the rest of the rounds. I'll catch you later.